Well, welcome back to a wet and soggy life's good. Um, right, well, I can't actually get on the ground and do much today. Um, everything's pretty well up together. What I am going to do is over in the corner here, I've got some uh, rhubarb remaining. And uh, as soon as I'm going to be sort of cocooned indoors, I thought it was an opportunity to pull some of that rhubarb. I'm hoping to get about three pounds of rhubarb which I can use to uh, start off some rhubarb wine so uh, that's today's subject and uh, I'm going to crack on and pull this and uh, maybe we'll pop indoors and I'll show you what I do next to make the wine Well, there's a reasonable amount of rhubarb there, guys. I'm not sure if it's three pounds or not. I've left some stem still there to mature, but we do have some in the freezer I can uh, add to this to uh, bulk it up. Now, when I pull the sticks, you, you don't cut them off. You pull them away from the crown. So you put your hand near the base, you pull them away from the crown, and you know, take off the leaves. You don't eat the leaves or use the leaves. They're poisonous. And I will be removing these sort of lumpy, rooty bottoms as well before I put them in the bucket to make the rhubarb wine. So uh, stick around and I'll show you what I do next. Right guys, well I've washed all the sticks of rhubarb, I rinsed them under the cold tap, get off any dirt, insects, debris, anything like that. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm just trimming them and chopping them. So if you can see on this one, perhaps I can show you, these little bits on the bottom, I trim these off. And you just use the stalk, the stem, the stick of the rhubarb and cut it into little one inch pieces. As you can see here, I've diced this one, a couple of sticks here, I've diced these up already. And as I said, I want about three pounds of rhubarb here, so I've got my scales, I'll just switch these on. Uh, come on, there we go. So I'll pop those bits in, right as we go. There's about four ounces there, so I'll continue trimming these off. Just trimming off those bottom bits, we don't want those. And uh, chopping into little pieces. And of course, while I'm doing this, I've got my brew bucket. It's actually sitting behind me here. Um, I'll just lift it and show you. This is my brew bucket. Now I've put a solution of um, sterilizer cleanser in here. It's a sodium metabisulfate and uh, I'll just put a solution in, give it a good shake around. I've got my spoon in there and an airlock in there as well. So that's being sterilized while I'm doing this. So there's some more chopped up there. We're about eight ounces so it's coming on. So I'll just keep doing this, trimming off the bits we don't want chopping them into little pieces. Well, there we go, we've got about three, just under three and a half pounds of uh, rhubarb there, uh, which in metric terms is about one and a half kilos. So that is now ready for the next stage. Well now we can start putting everything together. Um, I've got my bucket, I've stood it up on a stool so you can see but also, I can handle this without bending down too much. And I must admit, I do get a bit of backache when I'm stooping too long. Um, so, one sterilised bucket. And into this, the first thing we need to add is our rhubarb. Now, as I said, I've got just under three and a half pounds of chopped rhubarb there. And I'll put all that in there. And... Uh, 
Next thing you're going to want to add is the sugar and I've got just over three pounds of white granulated sugar, just household sugar, um, no particular fancy grade. I suppose you could use brewer's sugar or glucose if you wanted. They're quite expensive. I'm trying to keep things sort of not cheap but on the less expensive side. So just ordinary granulated sugar. I've got three and a half pounds of rhubarb, so I've got almost three and a half pounds of sugar. I'll put that in there. Now I've got my sterilized spoon over here. Just fetch that. And I'll give that a bit of a mix-up. And coat all of the rhubarb with the sugar. Now that sugar is going to extract all of the juice from this rhubarb. Now Another thing to think about here is you will or can get a bit of mould forming on this. So in order to avoid that, what I add is two things. You can get these from your local store, um, Wilkinson's in our case, or your homebrew store. And you can buy them online. But I've got a Peptilase uh, product here. If I open this, you can see that it's a powder form and I will put a teaspoon of that in here and here I have a Campton tablet or a, a pot of Campton tablets and uh, I will crush one of these and also put that in. So first of all my pectolase, I've got a teaspoon here it's not an accurate measurement but a little heap teaspoon of the pectolase in there Fruit tends to produce a pectin, and pectin is what sets jam. And you don't want that making a mess of your wine, so this pectolase actually restricts that pectin from doing damage to your wine. Now, the next stage, I'm going to need two teaspoons. And uh, what I'm going to do is to take a Campton tablet, from here, you can see them there, little white Campton tablet, put it on my teaspoon, put the other teaspoon on the top and give it a rub together like this, I don't know if you can see this right guys, but you just crush it together, whoops, there you go, crush it and put it in, in there, and again give that a bit of a mix up. And that is about it for today. Um, what I'm going to do now is give this a cover. I'll put the lid on. And I'll sit it in my little cupboard under the stairs. And uh, I'll probably leave it there for a couple of days. I'll keep having a look at it. Maybe a, a day to two days. Maybe three at a push. And uh, during that time I'll go to it a few times and give it a bit of a stir and what you want to happen is all the juice to come out of this rhubarb. Now I know some people use a rolling pin or a potato masher or something of that nature to crush the stems. I might consider that but not today, they're still quite hard so I'm going to leave them in there they will soften with the sugar on there and uh, in a few days time that will be ready for the next stage so that's the uh, rhubarb sugar pectinase caffeine tablet all mixed ready to set aside and do its thing over the next few days so part one of AJ's rhubarb wine and uh, I'll make another video when I come to do the next stage. Thanks for sticking around guys and uh, we look forward to sampling some of this in the future. Take care of yourselves, thanks for watching, be safe, be happy, bye bye now. <laughs>